Hey guys, Jen Palco here. In this video, I'm going to show you four ways that you can break out of your being busy epidemic. So we have an epidemic in this country. It is the epidemic of always feeling like we have to be busy all the time. So I know you guys have all been there, like you're at a restaurant with one of your friends or significant other and he or she gets up, goes to use the bathroom. And as to not feel awkward or embarrassed, we whip out our phone and we're just kind of like on our Facebook news feeds or we're just um, checking our emails obsessively or whatever it is. You've all been there. I know you've all been there because I've been there. And um, I just want you to kind of be aware of how silly it seems. Like what, what is this? What are we thinking in our heads? Like now that I look back, it seems silly, you know, but I remember, you know, years ago when I had a, like an old Nokia phone that didn't even have internet access that I would like, if I was alone, God forbid, or my friend went up to use the bathroom, like, oh my God, she's such a loser because our friend went up, she's sitting alone by herself, her friend went to use the bathroom. I mean, that's, that's what the thoughts that were going through my head, right? But I would, I would be scrolling through this old phone with no internet, just like either playing the game Snake, if you guys know what Snake is, or um, or just kind of like scrolling through my contacts list, trying to look important and not feel ashamed that I was like sitting by myself, not knowing what to do with myself. Like, do I, what do I do? Do I just like stare at a wall? Do I look at other people eating? You know, I, it's like this feeling of feeling very awkward and and um, almost like embarrassed and ashamed that I'm just like sitting there that people are going to whisper or whispering like, Oh my God, like that girl's such a loser, you know, or friend, like, do you realize how silly that, that sounds? It sounds very silly, but when you're in the moment, that's what we do. That's what we all do. You know, you know, we're, we're like on the train or it doesn't matter wherever we are. Even when we're outside, just walking around and we whip at our phone and we're just like staring. So we have this craze. We have this this thinking that we need to be busy all the time, right? That we need to be busy all the time. So in this video, I'm going to show you four ways to help you break out of this epidemic, as I like to call it. Okay. And the, the first tip is to find your center. Okay. Find your center. So what I mean by that is to bring yourself back into your awareness point. Okay. When we do things like having this influx of feeling that like other people are talking about us or that we can't be alone with ourselves. It's usually our ego just churning and churning and churning. And it's usually not coming from our center, from our, from our true selves. So if you can be mindful when those things happen and kind of switch yourself back to just being in your body, then that is truly going to help you out because so many times our, our brains just take off and run and we feel like anxious and we feel stressed or we feel embarrassed or whatever it is, you know, find your center, get back to, to your center point, get back to being in your body and being aware of what's going on around you. Nobody's whispering. Nobody cares what you're doing. You're sitting at a rest. I mean, really just, just, bring yourself back to reality, back to, to where you are the present moment and realize how silly it sounds when your brain is just like taking over and, and having these thoughts of anxiety, of embarrassment. Um, and realize that nobody cares that your, your friend got up to use the bathroom and you're sitting alone in a restaurant waiting for them to come back. I mean, that is not, that is not something to be ashamed of. So Number two is drop the importance on being busy. So in this country, we feel like we need to be busy all the time, either at work or at home, or even when we're out with friends, like we have to be busy all the time. We can't just sit with ourselves. And that's just kind of how we've been trained over the years from society. We have this, this, um, this thought patterning that sitting alone with your own thoughts makes you, makes you like a loser or something, right? It makes you less than somebody else who is working their butt off or being busy or has things to do. 
You know, I mean, I've, I've had a lot of instances in my life where I felt almost embarrassed for doing nothing because I'm like, I should be busy. I should be doing something. I should not be just like sitting here with myself, with my own thoughts and my own body. I, I, I should do something like I should do something because everybody else is doing something. So drop the importance on being busy and you realize that that being busy is not is not necessarily a good thing. You know, sometimes doing nothing and not being busy is what you need. It's what you need for yourself to recharge, to rejuvenate, to get out of that mindset. What can end up happening is you can get adrenal fatigue or you can run yourself into the ground and then not, no, you're not going to be happy because you're just exhausted, you're, you're tired, you're not motivated to do anything. And that's because you've been going, going, going and not giving yourself the chance to rejuvenate and replenish and just do nothing. The third thing, number three, is to realize that being busy can become almost like an addiction or it, become, it can become a habit for you. So a lot of people are addicted to being busy and this applies especially to uh, the workforce. Okay, people in their career feel like they need to put in or they feel like putting in, you know, a 12 hour day or a 14 hour day makes them superior to somebody else who, who could work, you know, four hours a day or something like that. And that is totally backwards because if you can learn to be more efficient in less time, then in my opinion, that makes you superior, not working like a dog 14 hours a day and getting adrenal fatigue and running yourself into the ground. So we need to get out of this mindset that, that working more is necessarily a good thing or it makes, us, it makes us more important. Again, it goes back to dropping the importance. Who said that? Society said that or, or our coworkers said that? Um, no, it's, it's not only bad for our bodies, but it's, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna last long term and it's really not going to fulfill you. What's going to fulfill you is learning to balance your work life, your personal life, and have, just have everything feel easier for you. Not feeling like you need to work all the time and, and, um, and run around all the time. Because that's not the case. That's just kind of our, our belief system over time, right? Growing up or seeing our parents work a lot or we were taught that, that nothing comes easy and, and we need to work like a dog in order to get to the next level. Okay, so you can get out of that mindset a little bit and realize that if you're not careful, being busy can become almost like an addiction. It, be, it can become a habit if we do it long enough. And what that leads to is not only things like being stressed or anxiety, depression, um, but also just physically our body breaking down because you never give it a chance to, to rejuvenate to get those, that energy back, you know, you're always running it into the ground or you're, you're fueling up on coffee and energy drinks all the time. But that is just like this downward spot. You're, you're superficially keeping yourself afloat, you know, and, and thinking that you have the energy um, or if you're losing sleep or not getting enough sleep because you're working all the time. Over time, that is going to definitely uh, come back to haunt you. This. So the fourth and final thing that you can do to help you break out of this being busy mindset is to allow yourself to do less. Allow yourself to do less. And this kind of ties into everything I just spoke about, uh, you know, about society and about how we see other people and they're, they're working a ton and putting in all these hours. Um, you know, we never truly allow ourselves for self-care, or we don't allow ourselves to do nothing a lot of times because we think that doing nothing makes us lazy or makes us, um, makes us just unproductive or uh, it's, it's not that you're lazy. So stop the association with doing nothing equals lazy because that's not the case. So that's it guys, hopefully this was helpful. If you like this video, let me know please and I'll do more. Um, so with that being said, I hope you guys all have a great day. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.